okay welcome to another video now in this video i'm going to be shooting the moon now the moon is uh, fairly easy to photograph it's nice and bright in the sky but what i want to show is how to take a photograph of it with a long focal len lens or maybe with a telescope before i get started i'm just going to show you some of my pictures that i've shot of the moon in the last year or so just to give you an idea of the kind of pictures that you can get when shooting the moon Well, I hope you enjoyed my photographs of the moon that I've been taking over the past year or so. It just goes to show that there's lots of ways that you can photograph the moon, all different phases, and it really depends on what you want to, what type of picture you want really when you photograph it. A crescent is really nice, and like I say, a full moon is really nice. It really just depends on the, the type of photograph you want. But anyway, tonight we've got a waxing gibbous moon, as I said, and I'm just going to show you now. Down a bit, there you can see. I don't know if that's... Uh, but what I want to try and do is get that moon now in a nice blue sky as it is at the moment before the sun goes down too much because I think that would look quite nice. Now let's have a look at my equipment. So I've got my camera here on a tripod, which is very important for this type of shot. And I'm actually using a telescope, which will get me a little bit closer than my lens. So right, now I'm going to put this camera back on the tripod and now we're going to have a little go and see if we can get a picture of that moon up there. Right okay so I now have the moon set up. I've got the camera and the telescope pointing at the moon and you can see on the screen and um, I want to get it as near to the middle of the frame as I can because that's where the best quality of your lens is going to be. If it's near the edge you're not going to get the best quality so you want it as near to the centre as you can and also it's going to move as well quite a bit so you want to try and keep it in the frame so I've got the, the moon in the frame there as you can see now the problem is is that the exposure I have at the moment I'm on ISO 100 there's no aperture value on this lens this lens this um, telescope I'm using is f6.5 but that doesn't come through on the camera but I know it's f6.5 and I can't change that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial the exposure down a bit down to about say I want to get the nice blue sky in the background so I'm going to dial the exposure down a bit let's try this 1 60th of a second I'm using a remote release here on a cable I've got mirror lock set up on the camera so so I've just taken a photograph there at 1 60th of a second so as you can see there uh, we've got a nice blue sky around the moon so that's good that's what I want and it looks really good if I zoom in you can see craters there let's see okay so that first shot went pretty well and that's how to get a good exposure on the moon uh, it does depend when you take it of course um, now the other thing I want to do I want to show in this video is how to focus on the moon if I was to say zoom in and use my camera to zoom in on the moon I want to zoom in where I'm going to see some detail so I want to zoom in now at the moment this is in focus because I focused it before so, so what you would normally do is you just AF on your camera and that might be good enough but sometimes your AF can play up and it cannot quite get the AF right so what you want to do is focus manually so what I would do in that situation and on this particular lens I have these knobs here for, um, for focusing and I'll just brighten this up a little bit so what I want to do is twiddle this forward and backwards. Now I'll see it go blurred and if I twiddle it the other way, I'll see it go blurred the other way. I want to keep doing that until that detail that you have on the screen there becomes as sharp as possible. Now another thing to remember about shooting the moon is that there's a heck of a lot of atmospherics. There's a jet stream up there and that causes a lot of turbulence so if you look at the moon through a telescope you will see 
a lot of shimmering from the atmosphere if you get it on a really bad night so that can affect your photographs as well but you just want to get that focus just right and if I go backwards and forwards I would say that it's about there I'd say that looks really nice I can see all the craters I can see nice detail there and everything there that looks really really good so that's right now so I'll come out of the zoomed in view and then I'll get the moon lined up again I've got the camera level as well because I think whenever you're shooting the moon it's always good to have your camera sort of at the right level for where it is as it moves through the sky it will it will change orientation as it moves through the sky so we're on 1 60th of a second um, I got quite a nice picture there before um, I want to try and keep the exposure down a bit so this might mean underexposing the background sky but that doesn't matter because I can bring that up in post what I don't want to do is blow the moon out I'm trying to get the moon and the sky at a nice decent exposure um, if you do this shot too late when the sky gets too dark then obviously your sky is going to be black and you're going to have you can have a nice picture of the moon but i want to get it in the blue sky so that's that's the reason why i'm trying to get this particular shot right now so right, let's take another shot right so we've got another shot there this, the background sky looks a little bit dark on this one but i'm not too bothered about that all i don't want to blow the moon out and actually that looks really really good yeah I'm really happy with that so I think we'll have a little look at that and see how I did right okay so I've now actually put a two times converter on the camera so I'm now much closer into the moon that's the image that I'm getting on the screen now but the problem is is that the two times converter here is you lose two stops of light so what's happening now is that I have to make the exposure longer which I don't want to do because I'm at 1 80th of a second and I don't want to go any quicker than that just again in case I get camera shake so what I've done is I've bumped up the ISO to 400 and I'm going to take a shot at that shutter speed so that I can get a similar result to what I got before so I think what I might do is you might notice that the background sky has gone quite dark there and that's just getting a little bit dark for my liking it's uh, it's a difficult balance of getting the right the balance of getting the blue sky and the moon which I'm just about getting at the moment but if I dial that down to 160s I might just get it let's have a go at this I've focused it again I had to focus it when I put the converter on just to make sure it was just right on so let's have a go at this and see how this does Okay, so now I'm going to put that picture on the screen now and let's see how I did with the two times converter. Okay, and that completes my tutorial of shooting the moon. Uh, this particular shot was uh, just one of many shots that you can take of the moon, but uh, I hope that the little tricks that I showed you there on focusing helped um, because that's one of the most important things you want to get a sharp shot and being able to use a long focal length as well like this on the moon and to get the right exposure as well and um, so uh, I hope this has been of help to you um, if you enjoyed the video uh, please tick like and if you want to see more like this uh, click on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates I'll be doing a lot more videos like this with, with um, the hands-on kind of uh, approach to showing how, the, uh, how I take my astronomy images. So that's it until next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.